my favorite thing about the Tomcat, I had great timing. I uh, checked in, and they had only the A models. And then our squadron, BF-24, was the uh, first one to get the A+. plus. So now I got to fly with the big GE motors and then went over to be a RAG instructor right about the time the D was rolling out and then got to fly the uh, F-14D, which was just an amazing airplane. Tons of power, big GE 110 engines, and it was just an uh, amazing airplane performance-wise. The jet was a god. Right. And the new D model, it had all the uh, electronic displays up front. It was just a, it was a joy to fly. Of course, you know, we were young, and getting the newest airplane in the fleet, it was really a, a pretty cool thing to be honored to be able to fly that. A beast. And uh, then, of course, Smut and I got to fly that th for the air show for a couple of years. So. There's only two crews on each coast. So it was pretty exclusive to be one of the airshow crews. So the West Coast, VF-124, our, our, our two crews handled everything west of the Mississippi, and there was lots of great shows. So. In the uh, Tomcat demo, the new D model, it was just overpowered and it was a rocket. So part of the maneuver, uh, and Randy Pogo Clark designed this whole air show. So, and he was an ex-Blue Angel, so it was really an amazing show in and of itself. But one of the maneuvers, you came by at uh, just under supersonic, I think uh, Smut was yelling point nine nine, and that was my cue that I better start pulling up. We didn't want a repeat of the 70s uh, Miramar air show where they went over UTC. So they oriented the show back east, and we started doing our uh, high-speed climb and rolling all the way up, and we started having a fuel split. So we had to knock the air show off momentarily while we sorted out the fuel split and, uh, and then pick it back up kind of where we left off. We were up at altitude, so we had a couple seconds where most of the crowd couldn't see, and uh, we sorted that out and dove right back in. So, you know, here we were back in... Uh, flying the air shows and uh, doing the circuit around the country, and we got asked to come do an Aspen air show. Aspen. And, and we thought, wow, we've never done an air show in a field like Aspen. It's in the mountains. It's going to be uh, very tight maneuvering. And so we flew up there to uh, do the first ever Aspen air show in the D model Tomcat. Plenty of power for the uh, high altitude. So uh, Smut and I took off and started this air show. A lot of mountains around, so we were supposed to be, you know, somewhere between three and 500 feet for the air show. And, of course, uh, the better the crowd, the lower we got. And the problem in Aspen is that the terrain went up on both sides of the uh, runway quite steeply. And if you, if you went off to the uh, west side of it, the vertical was, you know, pure vertical. Off the left side, it went up about 300 feet, and then it leveled off in their houses. So there were some famous people in the audience. We're in that 6G burner turn. And he's changing elevation of the aircraft. And you know, when you're a backseat guy, whether you're a student or an instructor or a fleet guy, you don't ever want to hear the pilot saying any dirty language because that's usually something bad with the aircraft. So I hear, God damn it. I'm like, what, what, what? He's like, look at the size of that, in the 6G turn, look at the size of that pool down there. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, he was an amazing pilot. So, so we're, we were flying in this, you know, 360 men radius turn and the houses were quite impressive. And I think we were probably- Big pools. 50 feet tops, 90 degree well, whatever angle Whatever the bank. legal minimum was. Well, the train went up, we were doing our level turn. We weren't climbing <laughs> in the turn. And it was impressive. Mingle and stuff. I don't think we met Goldie and Kurt though. They left, but there was plenty of other nice people to meet Back in the crowd. Cool. Yeah, and yeah. I had a good time there. The air show uh, was was quite a fun tour. Every weekend, a different spot. Got to go on the road, and uh, of course, we were young and crazy and single, so the uh, the times were good. You really thought you were pretty cool. We were so, pretty cool. And, and you really you weren't cool, but you thought you were. Tell me how does it feel? 
Repeat. 